What's up guys? Welcome back to another BK speedrunning tutorial. Uh, today we're gonna go over how to do the FreezyZP Christmas Tree Star Fast Strat aka YOLO Star. <laughs> so normally you would fly through this star three times in order to break the glass that holds the jiggy in the tree. Uh, which you're still doing that technically I guess, but there's a faster way of doing it instead of just flying through. Um, it looks a lot harder than it is, but I'll go through all the details that you need to know in order to do it efficiently, and with this knowledge you should be good. You just, it's just going to take pre some practice, obviously, but you should be fine. Anyway, a uh, couple things I want to note before I start. Uh, well, I guess only one thing. I killed the Sir Slushes because they're annoying and distracting. They won't bother you in runs. Well, they will, but they won't hit you. <laughs> you, you won't have to worry about them. I just killed them for the sake of the tutorial. Uh, actually, that reminds me. Let me kill this guy quick, because he's going to be annoying too. The enemy, as long as you do do things right, the enemies won't get in your way. But, you know... Obviously, when you're trying to teach something, you're gonna go slower, so... Uh, okay, so... The Twinklies... You know, it should be pretty straightforward, I don't think I have to go over that. Once you finish the Twinklies, I usually wind up around here. It doesn't matter too much, it's a little faster to start here. Uh, so once you ha Once you finish the cutscene, you'll be right here, and what you want to do... Just jump straight left, and then you're gonna go around and get the notes behind the tree. You're gonna go on a circular path, obviously. And then, once you hit the fourth note, you're gonna want to immediately shoot eggs while sliding. So you're gonna slide into... You're gonna cancel Talon Trot into the fourth note, and slide while shooting eggs. Straight down. To hit the button. It's a little finicky, but it should work, so I'll demonstrate it. One, two, three, just like that. Change the camera to face the ramp more that you're going to be approaching. You're going to want to face this ramp straight on. You're going to run towards it, and then as you get closer, press right C, and then right C again. You want to do stri uh, spaced out presses. Once you get up here, the walkway should be more or less centered. Uh, you know, you can adjust it a little more with R if you want. You're gonna get these notes. And then once you get this last note, or as you're getting it, you wanna turn around. Uh, you want Banjo to be facing the Jinjo. For some reason, it's more consistent that way to pick up, pick up the Jinjo. Like, if I jump with Kazooie, it's like a lot harder to reach it for some reason, but if you're facing it with Banjo... Okay, well, hold on. <laughs> you want to be high enough, obviously. So... Okay, so the tree... Hold on. Alright, we're gonna have to activate this button again. <laughs> it took a little too long. <laughs> hold on, please stand by. Alright. So again, right C, right C, get the walkway centered, get the notes, turn around, let Banjo face the Jinjo, make sure you're high enough, peck it. As you're pecking, do three right C taps. You don't want them to be too spaced out, because you don't want the camera to be like, you know, too off center with the tree. Just one, two, three, just in that rhythm. This should set up the uh, camera so that you're straight on with the tree, more or less. You can use R to adjust it. Alright, so from here, let me demonstrate what the trick looks like so that <laughs> the stupid timer stops getting in the way. And then I'll go over what to do. Okay, so that's what the trick looks like. That's the main event here, the main course. <clears throat> Alrighty, so, from the Jinjo, after changing the camera, you're going to want to flutter over to this pad, 
you ideally you want to be straight on with the tree more or less um, you can adjust it slightly as you're flying before you beat bomb but you should be good it should only be a slight adjustment if anything um, all right so the points to look out for here once you gain flight all right what what I like to do is change the camera back to neutral so like as you're taking flight like do two down C presses that's just my preference you don't have to do that um, I just find it easier to be in neutral as I'm doing the flight section all right so what you want to do here is you don't want to wait too long to beat bomb and what I look out for to know that I'm not taking too long is I look at the number of flaps that I do so you really don't want to wait long any longer than two flaps and by flaps I mean flaps Kazooie does while you're flying so one two three four um, you don't want to wait longer than two of those once you gain flight um, if you wait any longer you run the risk of crashing so depending on how low you are if you're too low you'll hit you'll hit the tree as if it were a wall if you're too high or if you're if you're high enough you'll tumble and you don't want either so the, as I said the perfect way to know this is don't wait any longer than two flaps ideally if you're all set up you don't have to worry uh, about your alignment just go ahead and start using feathers <laughs> uh, so that brings me to the next step the feathers you want to use two feathers no more than two and you want to line up with that yellow light right under the star so ideally you use two feathers and when you beak bomb you should be lined up with the yellow light so I'll try to demonstrate that Just like that. We'll go over the next part now. So you know, as you know, as you saw, I didn't crash. I didn't tumble. I ran along the, the tree as if it were a ramp, and that's what makes this trick possible. Um, you run along it as if it's a ramp, and then you can just jump through the star accordingly. So yeah that's the most important thing you just want to master getting the spacing right and that's done by waiting no more than two flaps and then you want to aim for that yellow light use two feathers and aim for that yellow light before you beat bomb from there all you have to do is run up a little bit jump through flutter back and then beak bust through to get all three um, it can be a little finicky. There's the possibility that you can get stuck under the center of the star, which is really annoying. Like, so if you get stuck and then you try to jump, you'll just sit there and then you'll wind up sliding down. <laughs> so in order to avoid that, what you want to do is jump a little sooner. Like you don't want to run too far up. You should have enough height if you just take a few steps. Um, so yeah, you, you don't, but then again, you don't want to jump too soon, otherwise you won't have enough height, and as you're trying to jump through or flutter back, you might grab, Banjo's feet might touch the tree and you'll slide down. So you just want to run up a little bit, uh, not too much, or you know, not too much, not too less, or a few, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then just jump through, flutter back, and beat bust. I'll demonstrate it. Just like that. So I ran up a little bit. I didn't wait too long. And I didn't jump immediately. Let me try to demonstrate 
what looks like a failed attempt. All right, so I'll I'll barely run up. Jump right away. See, I got through the first one, but as I was fluttering through, I might have been able to make that back, but um, chances are I probably would have wound up clipping the floor and sliding down. So that's why you don't want to jump immediately. If you wait too long, see. Did you see that? I kind of got stuck. I was able to successfully do the first jump, but, you know, trouble arose ultimately because I waited too long and I kind of got stuck. So yeah, you don't want to wait too long, but you don't want to jump immediately. A few steps. Like that. Well, it wasn't really a few steps, but you get the idea. And that's basically it. Uh, I'll go over the main points one more time. Um, let's do it in slow motion. Take flight. Don't wait any longer than two flaps. One. Two feathers, aim for the yellow light, and beak bomb. It's a little low, but it should work. <laughs> Run up, jump through, flutter back, beak bust. <laughs> One, two, three. And that is it. Um, I hope I... I hope you learned something from this. I mean, those are basically, that's basically everything you need to know in order to do this successfully. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I will do my best to address them. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.